Well, hey friends, thanks for stopping by. And anyone that's new here today, you're so welcome and so appreciated. And welcome to a day in the garden, a Mother's Day celebration that's being hosted by the Daughters of Destiny, a phenomenal group of women I'm so happy to be a part of, which is creating with Miss K, Shawnee from Shawnee on the Spot, Gigi Faison for the love of the core, Debbie Bubbles, and of course, myself, Lady Cinnamon. And for the collab, we ask that you include one teacup, one teapot, and a floral arrangement. And I just want to thank you all in advance for always coming back to support us, whether you're participating or not. Just being here to watch the videos, we appreciate you. So as we know, a tea can be considered several different meals. And the first is a cream tea, which is very casual with just scones, clotted cream, jam, and tea. And then there's an afternoon tea. Tea, which is ubiquitous with the laid table and it's accompanied by delicate finger sandwiches and tea cakes pastries and scones with cream and jam of course and coffee and it's usually served around 3 30 to 5 p.m then there is a high tea which is more with meats and game and it's taken on a high table like a dining table and it's followed by cakes and pies and breads and it's usually a little bit more fine china and and dining with the full set table and they would even serve champagne and this would be around 5 30 to 7 in the evening but as we know that there is a protocol that's been blurred in modern times and it's based on your preference so I chose with my preference to go with the traditional afternoon tea so for my traditional afternoon tea I will be a traditional setting also so I have a crocheted lace overlay that I'll be putting over my tablecloth which was tradition and back in Victorian era they did not like peacock feathers in their home and they were said to bring bad luck and if you were a single young lady it was sure that you would be remaining a spinster. So as a nod to the Victorian era, I pulled out one of those DIY peacock center place placemats that I used as a nod to the Victorian era. I had to do it. It's so much fun. So actually, I was going to do this outside, guys, but the weather would not permit me to do so. It's a little chilly and it's raining so I bought my outside day in the garden tea party inside and I achieved this by pulling out some topiaries that I DIY'd previously and I basically wrapped them in some really gorgeous florals and I even did these two little Parisian looking tapered <laughs> topiaries that are so pretty and it reminds me of like a French farmhouse and I just wrapped those also and bought everything together to bring the garden tea party inside so yeah absolutely love the way it turned out thank goodness I had a lot of florals and topiaries <laughs> So for my traditional afternoon tea, I did go with some rose chintz tea plates that I actually scored on Amazon, believe it or not, in the tea store. And they're so beautiful with the symmetry of patterns, but slightly different with the gold trim. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the way they look. And this gorgeous antique silver candle holder that I refuse to polish because of the beautiful patina on it. It belonged to my mom and and I love these. It's an intricate design and a craftsmanship that you just don't find anymore. And when you pick these up, they're so heavy and weighted. I had so many great teas with my mom and my sisters, especially one sister, Kathy, in particular. And we would sit around and my mom would be so patient listening to all of our dreams. So happy Mother's Day in heaven, mom. I miss and love you so much. And I have so many great memories and so many great lessons and so much love that you gave me and I appreciate you so much happy Mother's Day to you happy Mother's Day to Deborah, Letitia and Kathy my sisters and Kathy don't worry I promise you we'll still be sitting on the porch drinking tea when we're old and gray so of course a tea you need some fresh white linens that are freshly ironed to place across your lap while having your tea and I also curated these beautiful rose gold demi tasse teaspoons and guys you would not believe what i got from home goods my teacups came from home goods and they are beautiful do you see that pattern on there and that scalloped edge saucer 
Oh my goodness. And then it has a butter fly motif and anyone that's been following me for a while know I love 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 butterflies so I found this teapot which matches perfectly another time and um, at home goods and it has the butterfly motif also now I did not include the tea light for the teapot warmer which is where the term tea light came from <laughs> but I do love the classic shape of that teapot just gorgeous and of course you cannot have a tea without one little tea cake now that is a faux pas with that weird would-be <laughs> mini cake stand sorry that slipped in there I do apologize and of course I have my cream my sugar and my lemons but moving on to the tea tray I do have tea time by Maison Blanc I got this also from Home Goods. It has a lattice scalloped edge and a gilded gold trim with floral pattern to die for. And on top of it, I have some scratch made little tea sandwiches from smoked salmon, cream cheese, fresh dill, and thinly sliced cucumbers. Delish, guys. And to accompany it, I do have some canapes that I made also with some um, sun-dried tomatoes and fresh dill. So delicious. Now with my tear tray, I went very traditional with the finger sandwiches on the bottom la layer for the savories. Then I have in the middle the scones and then on top of course the little cakes and shortbreads and pastries. And that's more tradition in that order. Of course we know that the little tea sandwiches were made to clear your palate in Victorian times before you moved on to more of the sweeter items like the pastries and tea cakes and such. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and for my tea for two with the hubby, I'm going to pour me, myself, and the wonderful wolf, wolf magic, some tea. And we're going to be having some spiced chai, which is one of his favorites, so I had to make that. And it is so delicious. So guys, please don't forget to go and check out all of my wonderful co-hosts, the beautiful team of women that I work with so often in collab and I love them dearly the daughters of destiny and I will guarantee that if you go visit their channels you will get so much inspiration and they are so phenomenal and so wonderful and I will leave all their information in the description bar below along with the playlist for all of our great friends that always come out to support us we appreciate and love you so much for that whether you're participating or just watching you are so appreciated and so loved for my subscribers, thank you so much for supporting me. I can't believe I'm actually past 6,000 subscribers now. So thank you. I love you. And I can't put into words how much you are so appreciated. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified whenever I do upload. And I'll see you in the next video.